Today in class, we were discussing proportional versus non-proportional relationships based on a graph, which was very similar to what we did yesterday based on a table, except for now we actually have a graph here. We were labeling our x and our y axes on our graph. This one happens to have uh, more specific labels of number of round tables for my x and the number of chairs for my y. A couple of things to keep in the back of your mind. When you are graphing, we're connecting all of our dots together. Notice we want to label our 0, 0. Technically, we should have a title at the top, too, but there isn't a title on this particular example. And the question is just asking me whether or not this is proportional based on a graph. To be proportional, we need to have two things uh, happen. First of all, it has to be a linear graph. A linear graph just means it's a straight line. No curves, just a straight line in this particular case, which in example number one, we have a straight line. The second thing that I'm looking for is to see if it starts at the origin, or if the origin is a point on my graph. Now, the origin is the point 0, 0, and 0, 0 is located down here in the lower left-hand corner where I'm placing that um, blue dot here. This one does happen to be a linear graph, a straight line, and it starts at the origin 0, 0, which simply tells me that this is proportional. That's what I'm looking for here. Now, if we have a proportional relationship, we can go down to this box down here telling me the constant that keeps the quantities proportional. Again, anytime you see that they're proportional, or a question asking you if they're proportional, you want to go ahead and find out y over x every time. If I take a look at my graph up here, I want you to find a point, I'll choose this one right here, um, and use the values from that point. So again, my y value here is the number of chairs. At this point right here, my y value was 10. My x value at this point was 2. So when I divide 10 by 2, I end up with 5. 5 is my constant of proportionality, and that 5 would be consistent for every single point that's on this graph. Okay, so this one is a proportional relationship. In red over here, I will do the second example, where now I have kilometers on the x-axis down here. My y is the cost. So we would be finding the cost per kilometer if I was looking for my unit rate. Again, 0 is down here in my lower left-hand corner. And I want to find out if this is proportional. So let's ask ourselves a few questions. Okay, We want to ask ourselves, is it linear? Yes, this line is linear. It's a straight line. No curves to it. It's a straight line. Does it start at the origin? Well, now we have to ask ourselves, does it go through the point 0, 0 here? And in this one, it does not. As soon as I see that it does not start at the origin, I know this is a non-proportional relationship. And since this is a non-proportional relationship because it doesn't start at the origin, there will be no constant that keeps it proportional since it is non-proportional. 